G'day, how are you guys? I hope you're well. Um, I'm doing this little recording without headphones or whatever they're called, earbud things, um, because I tried to take make um, some recordings with them in and it didn't work. <laughs> and these are relatively new ones. Actually, but the section that um, where the vocals will go into it that part's broken, so maybe it's got something to do with that. I don't know. Um, so, just wanted to talk about um, my thoughts on an experience recently. Um, so, a while back I tried to do a dopamine detox, and what I had in mind was reducing coffee intake, getting it to zero, just for a while, not, not long term. Um, and... My plan was to spend less time on a screen because my understanding is screen time um, increases um, dopamine, especially if it's excessive. And um, that's definitely something that I need to improve at and uh, there's a lot I can do. Um, and so I was going to read more books and um, be less on online and... Um, yeah, so I failed that miserably and then went back to old habits, um, which is disappointing. But um, I also had a another experience where it wasn't a great experience overall, but uh, I learned a lot from it. And that was when I was hospitalized recently for like three and a bit weeks um, under the Mental Health Act. And um, in that ward, you're not allowed to have... Well, I don't know if you're allowed to have coffee or not, but they have decaf coffee there and you can't really leave. So unless someone brings you coffee, if you're allowed, I don't know. I have to ask about that if that ever happens again. Hopefully it won't ever happen again. Um, but yeah, so three weeks, um, no, it would have been two weeks to start with. And then um, a mate bought me coffee at the cafe when I was allowed to have a bit of leave. And then um, later I was able to have leave and get my own coffee now and then. And, oh sorry, notification. Um, so, yeah, I didn't have these extremely excruciating headaches that feel like migraines. And I know the difference because I've experienced both. Well, a whole lot of different kinds of headaches. And also migraines that go for days. Um, and, I mean, they were happening all the time, especially well, several years ago. I actually haven't had many migraines recently, which is odd. But yeah, um, in the hospital... What was I saying about that? Oh yeah, um, I had that decaf coffee, which apparently has a tiny bit of caffeine in it, but I also brought in cacao nibs, and I'd have some of them mainly for the magnesium and antioxidants, because um, I was a bit concerned that I wasn't getting enough um, protein and my muscles breaking down, how painful that can be, and um, magnesium helps with muscle pain for me for some reason, and an anxiety and um, my nerves feeling raw and things like that. Um, magnesium definitely helps, and yeah, there's a little bit in the cacao, and um, I snuck in um, sources of B12, as in some B12 tablets, and also nutritional yeast. And I bought chia seeds, but my last chia seeds, I end up, I made them and then I spilt them all over the floor because I was shaking or something. Um, and yeah, I was terrified in there because I was like a couple doors down from the ECT room. And um, besides that room, around the ward, there was screaming at certain times of day, um, like meal times, injection times and medication times and um, random times and ECT times and some other times I don't know what was going on but um, yeah so yeah that was a terrifying experience being in there this time around um, it's always been kind of terrifying but um, there was a point where I started treating it like a holiday I'd just go out in the garden and lay on a um, blanket or a sheet or something and um, read and sit under the trees I had like different colored leaves like red and purple and I'm not tripping like these leaves are literally different colors um 
I don't think they're, I think they're all green up on the trees and then when they fall down they change colour as they oxidise. But yeah, some of them are like blue, sort of purple, red, yellow, um, silvery coloured ones, they're kind of bluish and purple, oh I love those ones. I would like pick them up and keep them in my room sometimes. Uh, and lots of wishes, as in they're from, the seeds from a flower, I think it's um, dandelion or something similar. Um, there were, oh, there were these big, big ones. I don't think they're from a dandelion, but yeah, I ca I caught some of them and made some wishes. Um, but yeah, oh, my whole point of this video, sorry, I was thinking maybe with regards to dopamine detoxing, if someone wants to reduce caffeine, well, I don't know if this would work for everyone, but it just seems like for me, having cacao nibs and uh, not coffee for a while might be beneficial it seemed I mean like it's not like I was doing it on purpose but um, it seemed to help and the, th the thing is though I don't know uh, if if I'd continued and uh, not gotten coffee what would have happened then because um, as I was running out, I was able to get coffee. <laughs> so, yeah, not sure medium to long term what happens. But it's just a, a theory that that might be something that can help with coming down off of caffeine. And all the other things to do with d dopamine detox, I have no idea how to be successful at that yet. Um, I'm just going to keep trying. Um, I know that one thing is for sure definitely need less screen time probably a lot of people do I don't know but I definitely need a lot less screen time and um, more reading and um, <sighs> there's other things like I don't really want to go into at the moment but yeah um, I'll leave it there alright have a good one bye for now oh I noticed my Oh, never mind. <laughs> Bye for now.